Good morning guys, welcome to the Farming Life channel. This is the farmer. There's going to be a couple things I'm going to address in this video. Um, just tell you a little bit more about our past, future, and a little bit of our story here. Um, doing, I'm going to do it in between my chores here. And um, this operation is uh, under BK Angus for the steer operation. We have different uh, businesses inside our farm and our farming practices here so first of all i get a lot of criticism and i i'm not gonna i get a lot of good there's more good than there is bad but this is for some of the newest subscribers to tell you a little bit about our channel a lot of you know our story a little bit but there's a lot of stuff we don't put in our videos because we are a first generation farm and we get compared to other YouTubers, and there's a lot of great guys out there that make videos. I'm not going to get you wrong, but our story is different. Uh, we are not riding on coattails of our parents. This operation was started with my wife and me and our four children. So, as I get continue to go here through the morning, doing the chores, uh, I was out at 5 o'clock this morning feeding bottles. And now I'm just finishing up feeding the, the Angus here and a uh, couple little oddballs there in there. But we do have uh, Holsteins that we raise that go back to a dairy. And uh, they'll milk them. I own them. Uh, there's a lot of things you guys don't get to see, especially equipment. There's things that each equipment has its own story. And I don't feel it's necessary to explain, or I don't have to explain what, where the, each piece of equipment comes from. Uh, when we demo something, borrow something, and own equipment. So I got a calf over here. It's an Angus calf, purebred. It's waiting for its bottle, so we'll head on over there. So this little girl here, her mom did not want to take care of her. So I left her with the Angus, and uh, I still bring her a bottle. She follows me around. The equipment you see on the farm here was purchased by me and my wife. Uh, there is pieces we bring in and we use them. And uh, anybody that knows anything on a farm, you can't own every piece of equipment. There's a lot of things I'd like to have yet. And there's a lot of things I will have because I'm a determined farmer. Now, we're not a corporation where you have a three or four generation family working together where everybody owns a piece of equipment or or one owns all the the corporation owns all the equipment it's between me and my wife so as i'm feeding this calf here uh i just do appreciate all the positive comments but you get one guy that sits there and he can tell you a whole story about your whole operation by watching three or four videos and uh but we didn't get where we're at because I produce a crappy video but it's a story we use a phone we don't have a computer and uh, and I'm not educated I mean I didn't go to college you got these young guys that are, you know thinking they know how to run a farm operation because they went to college that has nothing to do with it you don't need to go to college to raise a nice looking animal so you gotta love the animals and they'll take care of you so I'm going to continue with my chores here, with my little girl here, Sleeping Beauty. I'm going to go out here and check the any more calves for the morning. And um, I don't expect any other farmer to do things the way I do them. And uh, I see there's a problem, I try to adjust it, or fix it, or whatever it takes to make it right. Okay, as I'm out here walking around, I'm looking for new calves, and we have a one or two out here. He's coming in here along the fence. These little guys, oh, they'll get born, it's cold, and they get right up to follow their moms, and I do put grass out here. It's a mulch hay that we buy, and we throw it out here and let them eat what they want, and it makes good uh, bedding, and it builds the soil up. So... I always enjoy seeing new calves, but I like to take care of them. So I, 
I was compared to three different channels the other day, how great they were. That's great, they are a great channel. But we have a different story. Uh, each one has uh, their story. And I'm not even near close to their operations. But, it's a concept. We started out, me and my wife, four children, a farm, a few cattle, which we have grown to big numbers in a short period of time. And uh, I was willing to put it out there, and she was too, the, the young couples can farm if they would have put their hearts to it. And uh, that's what we did. I, I use this uh, phone to mine, it's broken screen. I can't tell if it's recording half the time or it's not recording. So I get tired of fixing things and uh, then you get critiqued anyway. So uh, we do have corn to shell today. It's for all the people that are wondering. And uh, I don't know if I'll get to it or not today. I, I stand by the phone and someone wants the bailing done, corn stalks chopped or whatever, we gotta go. But um, if you don't like the videos uh, and you want your negative comments, go put them on someone else's. But I mean, when you do what I do in a day's time, raise four kids here on the farm, wife works a full-time job, and you have somebody sitting on a chair complaining about the quality of a video, this is not HBO or cinema or CNN or any of these channels. This is just the farming life. It's a farm channel. Farming's not perfect. And until you guys realize that, I know there's a lot of good farmers that watch this channel and a lot of local farmers. Mm -hmm. So the BS and everything else, sugarcoating all these stupid words, you know, uh, it's life. The decisions we make can uh, destroy us in a few hours because we're not riding on coattails in our operation. There's not people that bail us out. This, the money we turn over scare people to death. So, it's just one of those things here on the farm. The way we do things is the way we do things. And there's stuff you guys won't see. There's stuff you don't need to know about. There's names you don't need to know about. How much money we make. How much money I spend. But I guarantee you, I spend more than some guys make on a salary and interest and stuff like that. And it, farming's not cheap to produce food for the world, or at least for the United States. And by the way, a lot of our grains and stuff gets shipped out of the country. But in the beef, same thing. So, this was not a rant video, it was just a explain why we do the things we do and I know you, a lot of you guys are going to comment and say you know you don't have to explain yourself I know I don't I don't need to show you my equipment I don't need to tell you where it comes from I don't need to mention dealers names I deserve just as equal as anybody else is out there trying to farm but I'll tell you what at the end of the day I look at the operation and I thank God for what we have our health, my children, my wife, and uh, just to be able to come out here in the morning and express myself, freedom of speech. You know, this is a dream for most young guys and it never will happen unless their parents own a farm and they're gonna willing to drop it at a cheap price to them or finance it for them. You walk in a bank, the bank's not gonna give you a dime. They don't care. They look at how much money you can make. They don't care how much equity you have, they don't care. They wanna make sure you can pay your bills and they're sitting on a pile of money and have people back you up. And if we don't keep the young generation interested in farming, where's the food gonna come from? Think about it, guys. You know, you worry about selling these farms for millions and millions of dollars for your retirement. You don't care about the next generation. Uh, it's just, there's no way a young guy can walk in and take over what his dad and his dad built it took years 
30 years each one. His dad took 30 years. The next dad took 30 years and he's gonna drop his farm on his son that went to college to get educated. Come on. Can't pull up one over me. So as we get this day going, I finished my rant slash explaining how we run our operation. So, you know, and there's gonna be thumbs down. I don't really care about those. It's when you sit there and you take an hour to write a comment about how we are just a fake operation. Uh, that's what ticks me off. And I don't know why you just don't go watch the other channels that you think are so great. And uh, that's your choice. It's your choice to comment and, and say you, you don't like it. But if you don't like it, there's, uh, I don't know how many other channels are on YouTube, a ton of them. But again, what you see here is what my wife and I and the four children, and with God's help, is where we're at today. So, I'm gonna continue to finish up what I have to do here. I'm gonna continue to make videos. I enjoy it to a point, uh, but you know, I want to give young guys hope. You can own a steer operation if you want. You can own a custom harvesting business if you want. But it all comes from the heart. And have a good family to stand behind you. So, I like things nice and clean and I don't compare to me to other farmers that don't or do or how they operate, but this is how I do it. And I have to work twice as hard to make sure I keep healthy animals. I don't have the money to spend on vet bills. And uh, we buy a piece of equipment to help pay for the other piece of equipment. And it, that's how it keeps going. You buy something to help something else out. If you have a better way of uh, running an operation, uh, you know, that's great. But not everything's going to work the same as it does for you and me. So, I hope you guys don't take this as a, a hate video. I'm just trying to explain it, what I want you to know. And what I don't want you to know. It's not kind of, I'm trying to cover up things. But I mean, if you watch back to the videos, you see we are growing. And we work hard to grow. So, it's uh, cold out here and I'm gonna continue to feed, but I gotta get feed for the uh, Black Angus up in the pasture. And then we're gonna get the equipment ready to go and uh, put the corn head on the combine and then uh, hopefully I'll have some good shelling videos. But when I'm by myself, I can't get outside and put a camera up in the grain bin and yeah I could go buy grow GoPros and everything else but it's our, our our it's the way we do things so I hope you all understand and this is not towards anybody that I you know I know personally on here on YouTube I know a lot of great guys uh, they understand they're willing to work the same as we do and uh, so, if you don't like them, move on. That's all I can say. If you feel you feel you're threatened by me, move on. I don't know what else to say. But this is our story. We are a first generation. We're not riding on coattails. And these other farm channels, are, they're great. I have nothing against them. But it's a different story. So I want you to understand that. So, I made this video long enough. And uh, we're going to uh, get the day going. Hope you have a great morning. And we'll talk to you later.